one possibly come to Malta and Gozo and miss knowing that rabbit is the islander's national dish? It is unlikely, for it is common knowledge, and it is also well advertised by word of mouth. I'm a frequent visitor to these enchanting islands, and I always thought, quite naturally, that rabbits grow in abundance here. I was surprised to learn that practically every rabbit today is imported from New Zealand and California. Little did I know that my haphazard curiosity would unfold a piece of history relating to a happening during the rule of Malta under the order of the Knights of St. John. So I went to eat rabbit, and quite a meal it was. In the course of the evening, I learned of a national holiday called Imnaria, which is held on the 29th of June, whereby a big gathering takes place in Busquet Gardens to celebrate a special day by eating rabbit. Busquet Gardens are situated in the only forest in Malta, which is in the north of Rabat, and form part of the Verdala Castle. And Naria dates back to the 15th century. The next morning, I decided to go to Boschetto, as it was originally known, and take a stroll through it. When I arrived there, I was immediately caught up in its atmosphere of mysticism. I began my walk down the main pathway, and right into the heart of it, I noticed how the little forest cradled the gardens, as well as the triumphant Verdala Castle, overlooking it all with daunting authority. As I walked through the forest, many reflections triggered questions and thoughts. I made it a point to come back one day and attend this traditional harvest festa held in the evening. This I did, and this time the peacefulness I experienced during my daylight visit previously was all of a sudden replaced by luminaria. Campfires pinched into the night sky as throngs of folk gathered in cultural tradition for an evening of dancing to live folklore music, eating freshly cooked rabbit and drinking genuine homemade wine. It was a jolly night to remember, and one which I was so glad to have documented on film. By now I had decided to investigate into the roots of the occasion, and my research eventually led me to meet Dr. Carmel Kassar, who is a cultural historian on cultural values and the history of food. We have a situation where the knights want to have an area where they could hunt. One has, has to remember that they are nobles, some of the top echelons of the nobility of Europe. They are uh, accustomed, used to the European uh, most popular sport among the European nobility at the time, and this was hunting. Carmel Kassar furnishes evidence of how the Knights of the Order of St. John had banned rabbit hunting and imposed extravagant fines on any peasant caught doing so. These fines ranged from two years rowing on the galleons, extended to five years, and further extended to ten years. The resistance started off with Pellerano, with the bishop, who told them, ignore, who told his clerics, ignore what the Grand Master is saying, shoot or kill or catch trap, any rabbit whatever. or trap, any rabbit that you find in the fields that belong to the church. The dispute ended up in the Vatican. Peasants hunted and ate rabbit out of spite to show diffidence towards the order. Throughout times, people have stood up against their rulers when they have felt betrayed by them. In Malta, peasants rose up against the government of the Order of the Knights of St. John to protest against the banning of rabbit hunting. Today, rabbit is a national dish particularly celebrated once a year at Busquet Gardens, thus echoing this past event.